March Madness, or maybe the spring-like temperatures, has you thinking about lacing up a pair of shoes and getting outside maybe for a walk or a run. There is a way to go from that couch to the race, and that's even if you've never run before. New for you at five, Gilma Avalos, a non-runner herself, got some help from a physical therapist. Before you hit the ground running, you want to start off on the right foot or shoe. Kim Hemmick, physical therapist with Parkland Health, can tell a lot about a person by her stride. So your your arches are collapsing, so you in it kind of brings in your knees a little mm -hmm. bit too. So and shoes are crucial to preventing so injury. It's all about your foot type. Flat feet need more support. Look for stability or motion control shoes. You want to get something that has a good control um, for your arch right here in the middle of it. If you have neutral feet, neither a low or high arch, invest in a good minimalist shoe. You can kind of see there's no support kind of in the arch area. It's pretty um, cushioning right here. A running specialty store can help you decide what's right. But before you lace up your sneakers, Hemick says focus on strengthening. Avoiding knee pain and injuries is all about hips and um, core. You you can yeah, put your feet together and then you can always tie the band just around your, around your ankles works. You can pick up an inexpensive band like this one at any sports store. You should feel you're working both legs at the same time. Mm -hmm. Don't lock your knees, alternating legs from side to side, front and back. Slight so little bend uh -huh. into it, so it kind of like a little mini squat. Yeah, there you go. And then so you're kind of working, you can already tell you're shaking yeah. a little bit, and that's why it's good <laughs> to have something to hold on to. And don't forget to warm up. Save the stretch for after the run. Start doing like opposite arm, opposite leg. It may feel silly, but your body will thank you later. The idea is to reduce the stress on your body. Don't squeeze your palms tightly or you'll waste energy. So relax shoulders, yeah, so right? Relax shoulders. You want your hands um, kind of not going past the midline. Um, so you're in, a, you know, you look really good right now. And it might take baby steps, a walk jog method, but with the right shoes and training, you'll be moving closer to the finish line. Gilma Avalos, CBS 11 News.